So now in this video, we're going to look at the uh, trim pot wired as a voltage divider again. And I mentioned before that it makes for a bad voltage source because when you attach a load, it's going to throw the voltage off. We're going to fix that with an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So it doesn't fix it as good as other solutions like the op amp, but it does a fairly good job. You don't get quite the voltage that you set, but you get close. So we got the cable coming out of the oscilloscope to these alligator clips. I clipped into these jumpers so I can get the measurement wherever I want. Right now, we're measuring the uh, supply voltage. And you can see the power supply set to seven volts right there. And uh, now we're gonna move in and look at the trim pot. The trim pot set all the way to the positive supply. It's a 10,000 ohm uh, trim pot right there. That the resistive element is 10,000 ohms. And uh, so if I go halfway, you can see we got half of the uh, supply voltage. There's about half right there, 3.5 volts. That means there's 5,000 ohms of resistance towards the positive, 5,000 towards the negative right there. So in any case, I'm going to set this up to, let's just go to 6 volts right there. Now, we have whatever voltage we want basically, but that's without a load. That's where uh, we have a weakness when it comes to resistor-based voltage dividers, such as the trim pot. There we go, this is a 1000 ohm resistor completing a circuit to an LED from the output right there. So we don't have five volts at the output anymore. It dropped uh, way down and uh, the LED is lit. Hardly any current going through, somewhere around about one milliamp of uh, current. And uh, so should be uh, quite a bit more. So we have the NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as an emitter follower. If I move the trim pot down, the trim pot is going to tell the NPN bipolar junction transistor the voltage it wants across the load. But you won't get that full voltage. You'll see here that we still have the uh, 6 volts at uh, the trim pot. But if we come to the load, it's about 0.6 volts left, uh, less. And whatever we set the trim pot to, we're going to have about 0.6 volts less across the load you can see we got a lot more current there and uh, so in any case it does a pretty good job at transferring the voltage other than being about 0.6 volts less so it's emitter follower because we got the emitter there and the load is following it down to a uh, ground right there the uh, collector on top is directly to the positive supply now also at the emitter we have a 10,000 ohm resistor you can probably get away without that but uh, some loads you may need that uh, to get more accurate. So I'm gonna have a little hard time getting that back in there right now. But uh, in any case, that is the emitter follower. Takes a signal voltage, a weak one, and transfers it to a load, just being about 0.6 volts less. And so moving along, I did make a diagram for this video. I didn't put a ton of notes on here though, just, uh, Showing the schematic basically for the circuits that we looked at. So we had the trim pot right there with the power supply across it. And then the output is the wiper that slides across there to determine how much resistance is more positive or negative. But in any case, we saw that uh, we could get the uh, voltage closer to the positive supply, higher voltage, closer to the negative supply, lower voltage. When we added a load though, then uh, we had a 1000 ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm trim pot. So low resistance relative to the uh, trim pot, unless you get all the way up to the positive supply. But in any case, we got ground over there. It pulled the voltage down. There's uh, less resistance total towards the ground. That's why it pulled the voltage down so much. The LED didn't get very bright, and we saw hardly no current float. So to uh, remedy that, I have 12 volts on here because we have a 1,000 ohm resistor protecting an LED if we go to the full supply voltage, and so you'd want at least uh, one kilo ohm of resistance and no more than 12 volts right there. But in any case, we got the NPM bipolar junction transistor right there. The collector, there's the schematic symbol right there with the names of uh, the pins and uh, the part number. The collector directly to the positive supply right there. We use seven on the board, but uh, we got 12 right here. There's our two points for measuring the voltage. As we saw, when I took the trim pot, the voltage that we got there, which was thrown off with the load, when we put it to the base of the transistor, 
we had that voltage again that we set up there and uh, so the base voltage was the same now from base to emitter we do lose about 0.6 volts right there and then so that voltage then ends up across the load the transistor will pass whatever current it needs to to keep that voltage about 0.6 volts less than what you got there now sometimes the load will throw that off though it'll confuse when you got uh, this path here setting the uh, voltage sometimes it, it might get confused with the tricky load so a 10 kilo ohm resistor to a uh, ground I had it to the bottom of the trim pot but uh, that will help build up that voltage and make sure it stays a little more true so we took our measurement there so that's why you see that but as I demonstrated a lot of times you can get rid of that and it will work perfectly fine so we already went over the uh, pin names right here if you're using a 2N bipolar junction transistor whether it's NPN or PMP you'll probably have this pin layout left pin emitter middle pin base right pin collector on the breadboard we have the emitter below the collector because the flat side was to the right if you have a different transistor number you might have a different pin layout one other thing is that uh, on the uh, breadboard I had the LED before the resistor just because the way the board was it uh, was easier to use the resistor kind of as a jumper going to a ground then the LED so I had the LED at the output doesn't matter which one comes first if they're in series as long as the LED is facing the right way collector more negative uh, short lead cathode I mean uh, more negative long lead anode more positive so that it lights up that's forward bias but it doesn't matter whether it comes after the resistor or before the resistor you can swap them out so I thought I would mention that I also wrote what this circuit uh, basically does right there I explained it multiple times so I'm not going to again so hope you enjoyed the video make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted in the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I would appreciate it I'll see you in the next video